When you're dealing with shots where the subject is doing all kinds of crazy poses, it helps to have that instant gratification of knowing that you got the shot. Hi, my name is Ryan Sims. I am a photographer and digital artist in Nashville, Tennessee. So today we are going to photograph my favorite all-time superhero, Spider-Man, because I've always been a huge comic book nerd. And there is a particular comic book cover of the Spider-Verse that I wanted to recreate. So I thought it would be really cool to get a lot of Spider-Men and women swinging into action. So the setup and the lighting that I'm going to be using today uh, is a four light setup. Uh, I'm using the Einstein E640. So I really like Paul C. Buff's Einstein lights. I really like the power range uh, of the lights and how powerful and bright they can get uh, and how versatile they are as well. For my main light, I am using a 64 inch PLM umbrella with white diffusion fabric. For my fill light, I am using a beauty dish with white diffusion fabric. For my two backlights, I'm using two Einsteins with orange gels. Uh, and this is going to give the subject a warm highlight and that's really gonna to add to the realism of the fiery background that I'm gonna use when I add the background in Photoshop. I think it's great to shoot tethered because when you're dealing with shots where the subject is doing all kinds of crazy poses and they're jumping up in the air. Uh, it helps to have that instant gratification of knowing that you got the shot. Uh, we can both see it together and say, hey, this looks awesome. And we can rejoice together and high five. So in post-processing, what I normally do is I will upload all of my images uh, and I will scan through them and narrow down the good ones from the bad ones. Then I will take them into Photoshop and start cutting them out for the composite. And I've never really been a huge fan of Photoshop's Magic Wand or some of the quick selection tools. I always wanna know exactly what it is that I'm getting. And really the only way to guarantee that is to zoom in tediously to 1000% if necessary and use the pen tool and start cutting out pixel by pixel if necessary and getting exactly what I need. And it may take 15 minutes, it may take 30 minutes, depending on the subject matter, but it's worth it in the end. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Ryan Sims Photography. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.